because remember Big Bird didn't <laughs> even know Big Bird right. was trying to convince people that Snuffleupagus was a thing and nobody believed Big Bird for like years. That is a solid uh, premise, actually. Yeah. So if well, you, you have mystery, that's mystery. Ooh. Is it? I think so. Yeah, I guess so. Really it exists. is. Yeah, it is kind of like sexy. Yeah, it is. The idea that nobody knows that I truly exist. You don't want that. You're in like comedy. an enigma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're an enigma. I don't think that's. <laughs> you're an enigma. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. What you that. call me? I did say it. <laughs> I had to. I, you know, I don't. Know, I normally don't like saying the n word in front of mixed company. But but you know, with all of our mixed listeners out here, and then you know this Mexican over here, and then you being white, mm. she's heard me say it before because she's one of the good white people. <laughs> you can say it in front of and you know they're not going to misuse the word sure on their own sure. but um i had to it was just it was just right there i had it was <laughs> set up properly own. and i had to say you did it I you did. need to coin that by the way are we still Thank mic you. texting yeah no i don't need to, are that, we record we've been recording is, all this so anyway we, check one <laughs> did that sound okay testing one two our audience testing mm. hey guys <laughs> i'm so happy you got to hear all that foolishness <laughs> I, nothing I, nothing would make me not happier than just knowing that you guys heard all of that bullshit but anyway thank you for coming back to the struggle with candace thompson i'm candace thompson um to my loyal listeners thank you for joining again and new listeners i hope we don't disappoint the struggle is a podcast where i have my friends on and we talk about things that we are struggling with because adulting can be very challenging most of the time so we are here to laugh about it uh, if you have not subscribed to The Struggle, make sure you do that. We are available on all podcast platforms. We are on YouTube now. Also, make sure to go subscribe there. You can watch us. Um, also, like, I'm sorry, I always say like, but rate and review us on iTunes and make sure that you tell somebody about the podcast, most importantly. I think that's the most important one because word of mouth is very important, guys. Make sure if you're listening to this regularly and you're laughing that you're not keeping it all for yourself, like... A selfish piece of trash. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, you can find me at Jokes by Candace on social media <laughs> and <laughs> Candace Thompson Comedy. Can't help com. yourself. I you can't. can't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I can't. If I compliment, I, I have to insult like immediately mm-hmm. after. It's just it's a balance. It's, it's a, a yin and yang. Yeah, that's how you stay centered. Do it you is uh-huh. always call people trash right out the gate. She called me trash, kind of on the way in. Yeah, I did. Wow. Right. I did. I did. Not you, but your that meant that way of thinking the mentality. Yeah, yeah, that way of thinking was trash. But you didn't differentiate. You let me think it could have yeah, been for me. sure. But you know, but I, yeah, you knew I don't think you trash. I wouldn't have someone who's trash <laughs> co-hosting my podcast. Oh, actually, I did have someone who's trash co-host my podcast what? one time. Who? <laughs> Little shade thrown there. Nice. She knows who she is. Okay. Um, oh, Candace Thompson for all my shows. Now, what was she I? Know who she is? <laughs> she knows. She, she might be. No, she's not. I don't know um, who I am. I'm at Brenda Clone on Instagram. There you, you can are. Find me there. There mm-hmm. you are. Like mind. Like mind. And you could find uh, my nonprofit, Like Mind. I am of Like Mind on Instagram, <laughs> and we give affordable mental health care to artists and performers. So check us out. Like our stuff and be supportive and follow. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I'm now going to introduce our hilarious guest for the day. I'm so Hi. excited to have this man. <laughs> I, I'm excited to be here. Kevin Avery. Hey, everybody. Hilarious comedian, Emmy Award winning writer. Oh, boy. What? That's oh fancy. Boy. What? You have one of those? Uh, he might yeah. have like, do you have like a couple? Mm. I'm going to punch you in the face. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm going to punch you in the <laughs> face. <laughs> Look, that's not important. That's not important. That's just uh So? They're heavy. They are, they're, and they're sharp. Uh huh. Have you tried? I've, I've held one before. Two people cut themselves. <gasps> I believe it. Are you serious? Yeah. People that own them, or were they people that were just yeah. like, oh, when they didn't get up. the second one? No, people on <laughs> right. the, who who own them. I, I, somebody on the dance floor at the little after party. Yeah. Thing. Oh, people be getting stabbed all night. Yeah, I'm sure. You don't. Yeah, you. The don't, drunker you get, and you then you just puncture your, your jugular. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, he's someone bleeding drew blood. out big time. Someone, someone drew blood on the dance. <gasps> blood on the dance floor. Isn't that a Michael? That is a Michael Jackson song. Maybe that was it. Maybe that's what inspired it. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> we go with that. Cutting up, cutting up folks. Uh, yeah, so, hey, yeah. everybody. Yeah, what's your social media? Where can everyone find oh, you? I'm on Twitter at Kevin Avery and Instagram at Kevin Avery Comedy. I really, I'm trying to up my Twitter game. I get, I used to it's, tweet a lot, and then I just same. I was like, oh god, this is exhausting. But I, to maintain that, we all know why because Twitter, Twitter, all of a sudden became this. This, uh, it's just like now this hub for everyone who's oversensitive and you can't mm-hmm. say jokes really anymore without people getting offended. Yeah. And it's like, as a comedian, like, I don't want to have to fight this regularly. So no. I, that's why I personally don't tweet too much anymore. Yeah. It's hard to say anything without somebody's Backlash. always kind of looking at you ready to, I have actually... A friend of mine, a uh, very famous comedian today, was dealing with some shit oh, that no. who um, 
he said something uh, about an artist and um, and he said something Michael about Michael Jackson. Oh, and, and somebody like defending him. No, not defending him. No, he just made a reference. I think he just casually made a reference just, in an interview yeah. a while ago and yeah. somebody jumped on him and sent him an email angry that he insinuated even insinuating that yeah. Michael did any uh, any had any foul play with those children. This person, she was mad. She was defending. So the person who was mad was defending Michael Jackson. Per- yes. It's very polarizing. Yeah. I, there's a guy on my Twitter who, like, I think he listens to the podcast, and he's probably going to hear this. Um, and I thought he was, like, a fan, and he still might be, but was very sensitive when I when I discussed Michael Jackson stuff after watching the documentary. I discussed it with you, and I think mm-hmm. it was the Maggie May episode. I had Maggie on, uh-huh. and I was just talking. I was just saying that I still am not 100%, like, sold on it just because yeah. of all of How the— How could you be that sensitive about somebody that you don't know? Well, no, I know. That's why I say—that's what I don't understand. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't understand why you have—and I get, like, uh, like, if you are a victim yourself, but, like, I'm a victim. Like, I know you're a victim. Like, we've all been through a lot of stuff, a lot of us have been touched a lot of us have been assaulted so like it's sensitive for a lot of people but this is what i'm saying just given the facts and stuff that i have seen so far it's like i'm not defending him but i'm just saying it could go either way and i don't know i don't have a dog in this fight i don't know Mm -hmm. you can't know right nobody knows except him no except and those kids yeah exactly and so i just whatever you believe uh, that's fine, but who? Why? Why do I need to come after you? I don't know for what you may have for just what? said or believe or th- or, or thought or yeah. had an opinion about. Yeah, yeah. how mad do you got to be to email a stranger? No, I know. Yeah, I know. I don't understand that, but to each his own. That's fine. I hope you're listening still. <laughs> To the if, guy, if you want, but, mention it to a friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got really mad at me, like you fucked up, and I was like, no, I didn't. Oh, like boy. I literally just said an opinion about something, and <laughs> if that's how you take it, that's fine. I'm not gonna, uh, uh, whatever. The audacity, though, that you fuck. Not even I disagree with you. I hate you. Yeah, I'm gonna stop listening to you. you oh, oh, you fucked you up. You fucked up. Really? How? Is that what that earthquake was that day? <laughs> I felt. Oh, Candace fucked Candace up. Candace fucked up. <laughs> Candace done fucked up. Right. Like it. It's not that deep. Tremor. Right. And it's not like I'm on. It's not like I'm a, 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 a celebrity that has this platform where, like, he was mad that he was like, "You keep using your platform to like tell people that you think he's." And I'm like. I'm not, I don't know how many downloads of this podcast you think happen, <laughs> but I'm not, it's not like, <laughs> like I'm not an influencer like that yet. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? But even so, even so, it's still just my opinion. Yeah. Like it's, I, I don't get that. Well, it seems like a bit of a compliment then. I guess so. Yeah. Maybe he thinks I'm more was, important than I am. That's what he was really <laughs> sliding in there. Hey girl, I see what you're doing. You're, st- you're using that platform. Yeah, no, it's not like I like have Rogan followers. You know what I'm saying? Like where mm. there's millions of people listening to this. And, and even th- so, and even so, it is again. It's just my opinion. I'm not saying you have to share it. I'm just saying I still am. I don't have. I'm torn. Anyway. Yeah. Um. So let's get into my struggle. Oh, oh no! I really quickly I wanted you also to plug because you because I had Baron on that that long ago. I had Ed mm-hmm. Greer on. So I'm pushing oh, for yeah. new Negroes. You got to plug your new Negroes. Why am I? Jeez. And you wrote on the show too, right? Yeah, I was the head writer. Uh, oh, I didn't I, even uh, know that. Yeah. Um, you the head Negro in charge. Indeed. <laughs> literally. For, for once, that literally applies. <laughs> I'm the, I was the HNIC. And I see. Wait a damn minute. How am I just... <laughs> Oh boy! That should have been on you. That's how you should have addressed the whole writing staff when you walked oh in. I am the HNIC. God. I don't know why I didn't have a T-shirt made. <laughs> should have been on your card. It should be on my LinkedIn. <laughs> We're all on LinkedIn. Right? LinkedIn. LinkedIn. That's a that's a whole other struggle. Uh, oh jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, new Negro. I almost said the head Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> you can tune into the head Negroes don't, don't, on Comedy yeah. Central. Don't look for head Negroes in your local listing. Uh, you know the new Negroes. It's on Comedy Central. Uh, 11 p.m. on Friday nights. It's um, it's a lot of things. It's a, a stand up. It's commentary. It's um, there's music. There's you know, music. Mike Eagle is on it with a, a guest rapper every week. Um, and I'm on the show. Uh, coming up, I'm in two episodes on uh, May 17th. I'm I'm doing stand up. And what's the, the uh, theme for that episode? Do you know? Because each episode has oh, yeah. a theme. I believe it's self care. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And yep. so, uh, yeah. And then the following week, um, 
You know, they they told me one day, uh, hey, Method Man is going to do one of the songs. I think I, Mike. I saw uh, somebody post when yeah. you guys were filming, and I got very jealous. Yeah. Oh, that might have been me, because I was, yeah. <laughs> I I, have, you that asshole. That been, was that uh, you and Malcolm, too? Was Malcolm yes. in that? Yeah, Malcolm yeah, there, Mal- who I had on the podcast a long time ago, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. He's great. Um, uh, so, yeah, I told Baron, well, um, when y'all shoot that video... I need to be. You need to give me a call. Yeah. Uh, and I really was saying that thinking he would be like, yeah, sure, whatever. And blew me. But then a couple weeks later, hey, man, when are you available? Like, All right, let's do it. So Let's do this. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, on May 17th, I'm doing stand up. May 24th on the show, I'm in a video with uh, Method Man and Malcolm Barrett and uh, Tawny Newsom and Open Mike Eagle, of course. And yeah. It was a lot of fun. That's yeah. fantastic. You know, I, I, I'm jealous, but also at the same time, I, I'm in, I'm in, a, they had me do a music video as well for the show, mm-hmm. which I think. I think my stand-up airs on the 3rd, okay. May 3rd, and then I believe my music video with, well, it's not my music video, I'm just in the music video, the, they have me in a music video with Lizzo. Oh, nice. So, okay. Brenda, you're probably like, who is Lizzo? Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know who Lizzo was, like, back then, and this was, like, mm-hmm. a, over a year ago, or yeah. about a year ago now when we filmed it, and um, I think I'd heard a couple of her songs then, but I just was like, oh, I was like, I think I know who this chick is, and yeah. then... She has since blown up. Mm-hmm. Like she, ha- she's all over the place and killing it. So yeah. like to have gotten in to, get to work with her, and she was just the nicest person. She was really sweet. So yeah. and she's huge now. She's all over. She's she just great. did Coachella, Hollywood Palladium. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's everywhere. She's killing it. Yeah, I saw her. Uh, <clears throat> she was on dope, two dope queens. Yeah, she's probably. Yeah. I would guarantee she's probably going to get nominated for a Grammy because she's like doing amazing things her. right now. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so guys, make sure to watch New Negroes. Um. Fridays, eleven o'clock on 11 Comedy o'clock. Central. Yep. Um. So really quickly, my struggle for the day. I had a. I had a couple, or actually a few, and I'm trying to decide which one I wanted to talk about for this specific episode. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. I'm tired of, like, the maintenance of being a woman. Like, I'm so tired of it. Like, huh. I was looking at myself today, and I was like, look, at my, looking at my eyebrows, and I was like, they're getting so light. Like, they're changing color now. Like, mm-hmm. they're turning, like, red. Like, a blondish, reddish color, which is actually the color my hair was when I was a kid. Hmm. My hair was like a strawberry, blondish red. I'm but trying to look now. This is the natural color, the dark okay. up here. That's my natural yeah. color. And that's what happened as just as I got older. And now that I'm getting even older, it's going back. And, you know, that's kind of what they say about getting older. You kind of revert back into being a baby again. You got to go back in diapers. Yeah. You just need help with everything. You can't even walk anymore. So mm-hmm. it's like... I'm right, but it's like, now I'm like, am I gonna have to start like putting tinting my eyebrows? Yeah, <laughs> and it's just like now, is this a whole thing now? And just just this past week of like, I've been shooting a lot of things over the past couple of weeks, and it's like the stress involved with like hair and makeup that you guys don't have to deal with like at all. Like, is so, it's frustrating for us, and it's a yeah. whole entire thing that I'm so jealous mm-hmm. that men do not. Like, you guys go into hair and makeup when you're shooting stuff, but it's like, let's put a little powder here, make sure he doesn't have any shine, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Let's comb his hair a little bit, and, and and make sure he doesn't have any boogers in his nose, right? Yeah, thanks. We'll call thanks back for, to that. Yeah, we'll right. Come back yeah, to that. In a moment. <laughs> but, <laughs> to, for the record, I didn't have any. He didn't have. Uh, <laughs> but what I did have is Kleenex all over me, Kleenex. just from blowing... <laughs> That just is a thing that happens. boogers. They yeah. weren't boogers. They were That's, potential boogers. They, I, they could have been. Precursor to Were boogers. my luck any worse, but uh, <laughs> I, got, I got okay. I got off scot-free with the, with the paper. Anyway. Just, um, so, but we'll, we'll get back to that. We'll get back to your boogers. Um, <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Candace. But, but so, like... I was talking to my friend Joelle on the phone and we were just complaining because I was talk- telling her about all the, the shit that I had to deal with, like with hair and makeup on this one production. And then I had to deal with similar issues uh, the other day with because mo- they tell you, like, come they'll be like, come camera ready. Mm. But then you show up camera ready and you're like. And then they still do like everything on yeah. you. They'll do like full hair and full. And you're like, why? You just wasted my time because mm-hmm. now I was like, enough. Home- not ready enough. But then just just say we're gonna do all your hair yeah. and makeup because then because we now I had to get up earlier now and then and then yesterday for another thing that I was shooting they did they said we'll provide everything so I was like bet I showed up no no nothing they didn't have time for my hair oh oh no <laughs> Jesus and on top of that and on top and 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 they, they don't understand number one that's not a that's not a small that's a big deal that's, that's a problem thank you was she white 
the chick who was doing my man yeah. makeup. Yeah, but it's not her fault. That's the production's fault for uh-huh. not yeah. letting allotting enough time. And here's and that's a whole nother issue is when you are a woman of color and you have someone who do, is not experienced with like sp- skin tones and types of hair. Yeah. Like it takes longer, and they need to match yeah. your complexion. And so it's just. And they, they they will never be consider that for some reason. And I don't understand. And then I was in front of a green screen. And so my hair being curly, like, was problematic in itself. So they had to, the only way they made my hair work was pulled it up in this bun. Mm. And it wasn't awful. It's just not how I would ever have worn my hair. And I just personally, I just didn't like it. But I was like, I'm in front of a green screen and I, I'm already going to be here like most of the day. So yeah. let's just keep this moving. And it's online content. So it's not like it's going to be on like a network or something like that. So I was like, it's online, which does have the potential of going viral, of course. Sure. But still, I was like, it's not like it's like a, a TV debut. So I'm not going to like get upset about this. But and they had they had a schedule to keep. So anyway. But that's it. I'm uncomfortable now because, but I, and then I had to perform on top of it, which is stuff that I think they don't consider. It's like, yeah, I'm stressed perform, out feeling like you're not uh, comfortable. Like, or you're yeah, not it's perform. awful. Uh-huh. And they never, and I know I complained on a, like a couple of episodes ago with Dewan. I complained about like having like the production, like just treating us like cattle and not it's like even taking our feelings or how, like the fact that we have to now execute a, a performance that is going to show me in my best light and also make your production not look like crap. Like, there's a lot of weight on us. I could go with shitty hair, but shitty shoes. If somebody tried to put me in heels and ask me to perform, Perform. there's no way. Yeah, no. It's like I don't feel like me at all. Right. My hair's always shitty. I don't really brush it. (laughs) (laughs) It is. I got like one good day of good hair and then after that I just, I wait a week. I ponytail pull out, ponytail pull out. Hmm. The, the heels have a potential to hurt your feet, I would imagine. Yeah, and That's it's a, uncomfortable. It's you know, a different walk, a different it, yeah. swagger. It's a different like sense focus. of personality that yeah. you have. And if you don't regularly wear them, mm-hmm. you are now you're out of your element. And you're like, oh, I could trip. I could slip. And now you're focused mm-hmm. on your feet instead of focused on What about on that big act out? Yeah. Yes. How mm-hmm. am I supposed to hump the stool? <laughs> right? You got to lean on it. Lean a little. Jimmy little hard. Yeah. I had to wear heels <laughs> once for a play. Oh I yeah, was, uh, I was playing a drag queen. Oh, I was doing the Colored Museum, and um, I don't know how I. It was a long time ago. I can't remember how I figured it out. But you, I pulled it off. It was a lot of practice. You just had to rehearse. Just, well, yeah, I mean, we rehearsed so much. Yeah, yeah. But did you rehearse on your own in the heels? Um, I don't. Th- I don't think I did. I think I just showed up and put them on. And then gave it a whirl. Yeah, I was going to ask like, if you like, like just walked around in your daily life in heels. Or at least in the house one day just to give <laughs> yeah. it a whirl. I mean, <laughs> That's what I want to figure And annoy out. your downstairs neighbors. My, <laughs> I use my regular heels. What the hell is he doing? Like, <laughs> up there tap dancing. <laughs> look, at all, look at all the things I can do in this. I never knew how much my life would change if I just started wearing heels. Yeah, it was. Uh, I it, it was. It was a bit of a challenge, but I, somehow I figured it out. And, you did, and you know, yeah, and you're proud of what you did. I, I am. <laughs> Would I you am. do it again? Yeah, how'd you, sure. How'd yeah. your calves look? Yeah, bet you they were. Sweet. A good question. They were. They were solid <laughs> that production. I can't speak for them now, uh-huh. but uh, it's been a while. But you know, when you were wearing those heels every day, yeah. for yeah. several hours. Was that out here, or were you in a different? Were you no, in New York? This, or, out, this, this was, was in the South. This was in Tuskegee, Alabama. Oh, oh that's a bold yeah. choice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why you didn't go outside on your own. In <laughs> yeah. <those days>. yeah. <laughs> you got to open the, You got to preface it by Guys, saying that you was in the I'm South. I'm just going to leave the heels here. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to need these. I'm not going to wear these go bold guys. Yeah. Isn't that a, a bold production though to have down there too? I mean, it was a, co- it was like, it was me in college. So it was, Mm-mm. you know, we it literally, the, it, we were in something called the little theater and it was, ju- it was, you know, students and stuff. So mm. what school did you go to? Tuskegee University in Look Alabama. At you. Yeah. Look at you. Did you watch Homecoming? Beyonce's Homecoming? No, <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. I haven't. Look, I'm I, always. I know you didn't watch, I, but I want to. Pull, pull said, oh. <laughs> but I'm gonna, what happened? <laughs> I saw your face. You saw my face like, change. Yeah, like lock up for a second. Yeah, like, trying no. To, look, I, there are a lot of things I need to watch. My DVR is at at ninety eight percent. Ninety eight. Yeah, I can't. You can't. No, I know because there's not enough yeah. time to watch everything. But it is an experience. I will. I will say that. All right. Mm-hmm. Everybody gonna, needs to watch it. It's really good. And what? it's just a celebration of, mm-hmm. you know, HBCUs and, and just and just blackness. And I I'm do like, love yeah. that. Yeah. So it's fantastic. Seeing it's those cool. marching bands, yeah. that's always uh, always that that impressive. Was, that was always like uh, seeing the marching bands at black schools and then also step shows yeah. was always. Did, have you ever been to a step show, Brenda? Mm-hmm. Oh, it was such an experience. Something. 
Yeah, it's really like the, it was the highlight probably of my college career is going to other schools and seeing other people's like mm. fraternities and uh, sororities doing yeah. step shows. Yeah, it's dope. But it is also hard to explain to white people. Of course. <laughs> like, challenge. Go ahead, try. try. Yeah. <sighs> you got one right here. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Here's the thing. Um, Here's when a man and a woman. No, that's a different. That's a different. Thing. It's a different conversation. Uh, uh, okay, uh, millions of years ago, there was an. Expo- no, nope, that's not. Um, no, so <laughs> it's sort of a stupid? type of. Uh, <laughs> sort of a type of doing. Though, both of those things, by the way, easier to explain ben, than a step show a to step a white show. person. Yeah, um, but no, it's like um, it's sort of like a. Yeah, I, I'm dance. trying to think of words right now. I hate to use the word dance, but it is like a routine. Like a maybe they'll understand stomp. They would understand he, stomp. Yeah. <laughs> I, in my head, I already had clogging. N- so no, so, I mean no? that's closer to river dancing. <laughs> okay. Well, it's now we've step. gone into river dance territory. Yeah. Yeah. Stepping is. Well, I have the word step. Is, think with more. No connotation yet. Think so. more Africa. Okay. Yeah. Think more like. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is this is challenging this is difficult um hmm. so it's like yes yeah, stomp is a is a really imagine the production stomp with all black people with mm-hmm. all black people without the trash cans and the brooms <laughs> without and, the gimmicks without right any of that business okay. yeah. and um just the hands just the hands. <laughs> and occasional, occasional canes. canes yes occasional <laughs> shout canes. out to the campus that's right um I, if i do that i gotta say shout out to the elvis and the hands because that's my whole, my whole family's greek except uh, for me they I'm not were, Greek. No one in my family. Except my dad. Oh, my. What? They're all, oh, so you got the whole spectrum of everybody. My dad and my brother, everybody. Alphas. My mom is an AK. Okay. And they were like, don't you want to pledge? And I, was like, no, no. I don't really want to. Me, five, me? Yeah, exactly. Me, five, me. So, um, but anyway, yeah. It's sort of like this stomp type of thing. Um, all the members of the fraternity gather and do actually not all of them. It's a college just, thing. Yeah, it is a college It's thing. definitely, yeah. But you will see college and uh, Beyonce now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I really wanted to do a, I want to have a step team incorporated mm-hmm. in something that I do. Like my, my manager and I are trying to or- orchestrate yeah. something so I can have a step team for my uh, comedy special when I tape uh, my first comedy special for television go. or Netflix. Um, but I also, I it doesn't have to be that. I just want to incorporate it in something that I do. Do you mm. feel like you would have to explain what it is before they came out? No. Okay. And <laughs> No, and no, I'm not going to. they're going to say it. Yeah, no. You'll see. I'm trying to think if there, where would a white person have seen it aside from Beyonce's the movie Stomp the Yard Stomp the Yard but they didn't see that did Although, you guys if you're a white person and you saw Stomp the Yard call in yeah <laughs> <laughs> but even Stomp the Yard was weirdly not like I the, the one thing I remember about Stomp the Yard was the kid showing up to the, his first sort of like step show out in the in the yard yeah and asking the kid next to him hey what are they doing oh. and I was like first of all <laughs> Brother, you know what they do. You know. <laughs> and the kid next to him, I didn't know. I mean, I didn't get, I didn't have to what go to a black doing? college to know. what to know. I knew what step shows were. For sure. But, but hey, you know, whatever. Everybody's story is different. That's true. But the kid next to him tells him, looks at him crazy like I would have mm-hmm. and says, and then he screws up. He goes, uh, man, what you mean? What they doing? They stomp in the yard. And I was like, nope, <laughs> no. No one would. They're not stomping Nobody the yard. Nobody says that, right? That's not a term. They're just people stepping. Say. They're just stepping. We all know. Everybody here knows they're stepping. Like a third person needed to come. Actually, point of inquiry. You know, like needed to. Yeah. Straighten them both out. That's so yeah. ridiculous. To, that's so forced because, like, yeah. just leave it. It doesn't have to be so on the nose. Like, that's the name of the movie, right? You don't need to actually say it in dialogue yeah. in the film. Why didn't they call the movie Stepping? They could have called it Stepping. <laughs> They could have just. They could have called it no half stepping. They could have called it any number of things with the no word step in it. Steppin. But they went with stomp the yard, which is something I don't know that I've ever heard anyone. I mean, ever. I've heard we're good. I've heard maybe to, but not. Mm-mm. Yeah, you no. Know it's a step show. Well, yeah, right. I'm gonna look it up and see if your description was uh, at all good. It wasn't. Yeah, it's not at all. No, it was uh, uh, it just was my. Dis- well, no, you don't know that. You don't know what's in my head. You're right about that. Oh, uh-huh. okay. Maybe she is picturing. Yeah. Oh, if she pictures. Oh, I see. If you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm trying to. So you've never. You don't think you've ever seen throughout all your years a step show on any any platform, <laughs> Mm-mm. which is why Beyonce's homecoming was very important. She brought that shit to Coachella. All these white people were like, what is this fantasticness? Right. And, it was, wow. and it's amazing. It just Because I just remember the joy it brought me
me when I was going through school. And yeah. I'm like, and I yeah, miss I that. It. Yeah. So it's just like there's an energy that you can just, that you can't describe. That's why it's so hard for us to describe you, it. You know yeah. what this means, though? What? White people are going to be doing it. Oh. No. I, that's oh. next. Oh, oh <laughs> God. I did not even that. realize that. <laughs> what Beyonce, else? what have you done? <laughs> It's going to be uh, step classes. Damn it, Beyonce. Oh, no. It's going to become an exercise routine. You guys are ruined. It already was. You remember step aerobics? Oh. <laughs> oh That's what it is. They're going to call it stomp aerobics now. Yeah. Like, damn it, you white uh-huh. people. <laughs> ruining everything. Right. We're going to steal as a matter of fact. I got to go. Uh, <laughs> I got to start my own edition, step show. Now this. <laughs> The first new edition. Yeah, they. That's why. Where do you think? Boy no, Band I know. Came new from? kids on the block. In sync. Backstreet Boys. Do you understand that new kids on the, new edition? Literally, I'm very passionate about this. You should be. Literally, new kids on the block. And look, God love those five guys. That get, we're all children of God. But <laughs> you know, facts. They new edition. Their man. They fired their manager. He sued them for the name in court. These are five guys from Boston. Was that Maury Star? I believe it was Maury Star. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, new edition of Orchard Park Projects in Boston, and uh, and so they they fire him. He sues them for the name. He loses in court. They keep the name. He goes back to Boston, mm-hmm. finds five white guys, mm-hmm. calls them new kids on the block, mm-hmm. and suddenly the nation is transformed by this thing that they've never all the kids of this? that generation had never seen that before because what they is, weren't listening to the temptation right before tops or any of that you right. need to be blaming maurice star for, for sure he is he yeah. is he is who did that yeah yeah that yeah, was yeah, a vindictive yeah. thing the to only, a whole race of people yeah i mean yeah. The, the, it wouldn't be a problem except that what happened is something that was the coolest thing on the planet because if you were a young black kid you wanted to be in new. You like that was the dopest thing ever. Yeah. In the sixties and the fifties, you wanted to be in the Temptations or the you know the Spinners or whoever. The tops. The top. Yeah. Or the four, four tops. tops. Yeah. The yeah, all those cats. You wanted to be the Silvers. I think that was the seventies. But um, when New Kids on the Block came out, and then and sync after that, and and Backstreet and all those guys, it sort of divide. It was a specifically a pop thing, and like. Girls loved it. Some some guys probably were like, oh, this is kind of cool. But for the most part, if you didn't like it, it, it was like how many people hated the Spice Girls, even though they were like this, yeah. this hugely sell, you know. Mm-hmm. They and, didn't do anything for me. And no, it turned the very cool. idea of the five person or four person singing group into this like goofy, corny boy band thing yeah mm-hmm. which was not a term it, beca- it became like strategic instead of these five guys that were hanging out just happened to sing and yes like, yeah yeah like I, the actual um, yeah it was a formula for sure. of a band yep. yeah 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 so that to me is true uh uh, uh what appropriation thank you kind of made it a business a little bit but they yeah. did look legit band. it was the same exact it was the blueprint of new uh new edition yeah and then he just applied it to five white kids and it was the same like they were the, like they were Joe white McIntyre, kids doing uh, Jordan Knight, Ralph Tresvant. Um, yes, uh, the which the Walt Ralph uh, Tresvant. Ralph was Tresvant was edition. the lead singer of New Edition. Uh, so he's compa- oh, he's he doing the parallels, small, like a high pitched singing guy. Yeah. Don't you uh, remember? I think New Kids' first release or second was "Please Don't Go Girl." Mm-hmm. Please, think of Joe Joey McIntyre. Don't go, don't go yeah. girl. Exactly. <laughs> uh, what's his face? Donnie Wahlberg was mm-hmm. Bobby Brown, the bad boy. That mm-hmm. yeah, and they just sort of they have these uh, archetypes mm-hmm. in each yeah. each uh, group where they have to fill, and they, it's still that's still and there's always one with a gimmick, right? That's there's always an like, ugly one that needs yeah. a gimmick. Yeah, <laughs> Danny. That was Danny. Yeah. He looked yeah, he was so ugly, but he had a great body. Yeah, and that, that tail and that oh. rat tail. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was the gimmick. Even and then the in sync, that was Chris. He had he was the white boy with the dreads. Oh, God, they gotta give the right. ugly one a yeah. gimmick oh, every yeah. in every group. Yeah, because <laughs> it's like true. otherwise it's like why are you here? <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't like the, the <laughs> we don't Spice Girls because the archetype. I was like, I don't believe that these girls they're not friends. Oh, no. that being said, I will say this about the Spice Girls. Uh, I used to hate on them, and then one day as a goof, my friend and I went went to go see their movie. We thought this will be hilarious. What was that called? <laughs> Spice, <laughs> Spice World. Spice World. And we, I'm already mad about it. We, like, we were just, we couldn't wait to go mock this thing, and and it was just an excuse for me to take off work, really. But um, we we watched the movie, and then I remember coming out, and all of us, we were the two of us were like, you know, that one song wasn't actually that bad. bad. Yeah, you know, I actually kind of like the one tune that they did, and then we left, Spice and we up, came back life. the next day, and she was like, "I bought the first album." I was like, "I bought the second one," and 
<laughs> I became a fan of their music. Fan. But here's the, the their they what they did is they found all these different from New Kids and and Sync and all those guys. Mm-hmm. They found R and B producers. So if you listen, especially their first album, oh, it is, is it more R and B? Genuinely R and B music. Yeah. But the stuff they played on the radio was more pop. Yeah, because of course, because they have to appeal. Right. To, oh, know, so, so maybe I need to check them out now. It's, I mean, it's thirty not, years later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these, guys, these new Spice Girls are shot. I mean, yeah, like tell me what I want. That's a, that's uh, just a mess of a song. In fact, the first time I saw that video with them jumping off the bus, and I yeah, thought yeah. it was yeah. it was late. It was. 2.30 in the morning, and I remember coming home from something, and I'm in bed, and I'm watching TV, and I thought, this is a really long Mentos commercial. Uh, that I is legit, what it is similar to. I thought to. it was a Mentos commercial. I was really it did. shot in Canada? Because uh, I no. think Mentos is like a Canadian thing, and yeah. then maybe that's why it's similar. I thought it was that. It did seem very mentos And then it went on, re- and I was like, what, what's going Is this an infomercial for Mentos? And then it... <laughs> You're like, no, this then, is a And then it was like Spice Girls, and I was like, oh, they're only, whatever that is, don't oh. ever last. And then, and then he, here we are. Here we are, still talking about them. Still em. talking about them. So how many albums did they do, too? Three, I have no idea. I think. And then what happened? They're supposed to have a reunion or something. I think they were having a reunion tour, just like on the new kids. The new kids yeah. and the Backstreet Boys yeah, have been on a cruise, goal. and do, they're doing all time. My sister and my uh, cousin, Sh- not Chantel. Well, she, I think Chantel did go, and my friend Monica. Monica is ridiculous and has been to, I think. 10 or 11 new kids on the block cruises. <laughs> wow. Cruises. Wow. Cruises. <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating. I thought you meant shows counting when she was a teenager. That is commitment. <laughs> when you get so on this- the boat. <laughs> she got on the boat. You got to go to the boat. Then you got to say, and I'm going away and stay for a on the y'all. boat. Yeah. yeah for a stay. long time. Wow. Yeah. And done as a, at least 10. I think that's even uh, uh, on the low end. Man, she may they have done more. sell so much merch on that boat. No, I know. How long is, uh, is this probably the cruise? You don't know. How long is the cruise? Yeah, I don't know. I got invited, but I was like, you guys, I can't. Let's say if it's a, if it's a, a <laughs> yeah. week. You, it's too much. How many shows do you it go to? It can't be less than four days. It can't, it can't be, be less than okay, four but days. It's just, the weekend's three. It's just one yeah. of them or two of them? Two of the bands? It's two. I think it was a Backstreet Boy, a BSB. Which is what they okay. go by now, yeah, BSB, of course, <laughs> and uh, NKOTB. Mm. Yeah, two uh-huh. for one, a twofer. So you go and you see two shows, and then you, oh, I guess, then you're just on the cruise, or you can go back. They probably break it up like one night, new kids, one night, or maybe like one opens for each other. I love how we're trying. If anybody has been on the cruise, Why don't we just, Google, just call know. in. <laughs> Please. I could just have I'll, I'll call my sister and ask her next time um, to see. I, I feel like that cruise was ninety percent moms. <laughs> of course. Yeah, it was just yeah. moms, and they were Not just like, I need to get away from my kids for a little bit. I'm tired of my husband. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Or, you know, the single life. And let's just try and relive some of our youth a little bit through the new kids and the Backstreet Boys. Nothing I feel like that's, no, oh, there's nothing wrong with it, yeah. but I guarantee that that's what it was. I <laughs> will say this I did a bit about New Kids on the Block. Um, and the whole sort of the difference between, a, you know, singing groups and boy bands. And yeah. I was, t- I was, you know, sort of, uh, you know, uh, having a little fun at the expense of NKOTB. Oh, now I'm curious. And but I'm not going to ask you to do the bit unless you want to do the bit. <laughs> I'm not going to do the bit. Because <laughs> it's awkward. Uh, yeah. But it, I was just talking about how one group, like singing groups hold up versus yeah. boy bands. Yeah. They don't, it doesn't, like I still see, actually I talk about this on New Negroes. Oh. Fridays at 11 p.m. on Comedy Central. <laughs> um, I love it. But New Edition, you st- they still seem tight. They're still matching. They're still, you know. Yeah. And when you see new kids on the block or, or in, they're, it's not quite, this, this, you know, I don't yeah. know. But it's like they all just getting back together because they made mistakes. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they're doing <laughs> like, their thing. They no all need real to pay for houses. These guys, no real shade to these guys. <laughs> but, but, um, I, I got seven illegitimate bit. kids. I need to take care of. <laughs> right. I got to get on tour. Yeah, I finished the bit, and I'm, or I finished, the, you know, after the show, I'm hanging out in front. I'm waiting for a friend, and this guy just kind of saunters over to me. He's a sort of good looking short dude, and he's like, "You the guy that did the uh, the boy band." So, bit. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, and he didn't say anything. He just keeps walking to me, and I'm looking at him, and then it registers it's Joey McIntyre, <gasps> and I collapsed Shut in laughter. Up. I <laughs> just crumpled <laughs> under the ground oh, laughing. That's God. And, God is uh, hilarious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, he said, contrary to popular belief, some of us can sing, and I was like, man, I had no argument with that. <gasps> uh, but he was really. Fu- you cool should have been like, it. prove it. And- <laughs> <laughs> he, I, that is one dude, though. He can sing. Yeah, he can sing. I and I remember and Jordan. I think could, had pretty decent vocals. Yeah. Well, the first time I heard them, I thought New Kids on the Block were black. Of course. 
And then I saw a picture and I was like, like, hanging oh. tough. What yeah. is it? <laughs> it was confu- when I heard Please Don't Go Girl, that little falsetto, I just thought it was like a little short. But I thought it was like a little Ricky Bell type of Ricky Bell of New Edition and Bell Biv DeVoe. He's the Bell and the. Yeah, anyway. We, yeah. Maybe, maybe they don't know. No, I need like, that. You, you know. You'd be surprised. <laughs> when, I, surprised. when I throw out Bell Biv DeVoe, like I get it. People go, I don't remember New Edition. When I say Bell Biv DeVoe, yeah. people don't get it. That is weird to me because it's poison. Never trust the big button song. smile. That Thank girl you. is. When I hear that, if I'm in a bar or a club, if I'm in a at a funeral and I hear that, <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm gonna. Again. I'm on the. <laughs> 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 oh boy! Wait, can I? I'm gonna preemptively apologize for this, but I have to because we're talking about niggas okay. on the block. Sure. Back. Huh. Stronger than ever. You think we'll sever? Never. We're too clever to be taken down, clown, by your ignorant state of mind. I ain't blind, but every time I look, I find you. This is the mission that should be righteous. We gotta fight this, so now I think I might just take a stand, man, like never before, and I'm sure the will endure, so now it's time to even the score. I hear you knocking me, but you ain't shocking me, cause jealousy is telling me that you just shocking me. So keep on talking ski with pride I'm walking, see, cause on anybody's block is where I'm gonna be rocking, G. That was Donnie Wahlberg in <laughs> Games. From yeah. New Kids on the Block. Legitimately scared me when you started doing it. Because yeah, I didn't know what was happening there. And I felt kind of awkward because I don't know that song. Is that a B-side? No, from the it's first? from their last... It was their last uh, album in the 90s. And mm-hmm. that's like right before they broke up and Jordan started doing his own thing solo. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, so it was it was an album. It's when they switched from New Kids on the Block to NK- NKOTB. Right. So they switched mm-hmm. to the acronym. And it, the I believe the album was called games maybe but mm. that was that was the name of the song i think i was maybe one of 30 people who bought that solid performance <laughs> thank I you will, yeah. i will say that i'm admiring that you went 100 percent on did. that thank you yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> well delivered. i didn't know what you were gonna do though you keyed up you just here's the thing you you just i have to apologize in advance for this and then you kind of leaned in your chair a little bit and like posted and i was like is she what gonna is, fart no, like, on, the, <laughs> on the live on the podcast that's what i really thought was gonna happen i, I can was do like, that too if it you was like. like she no. turned she turned away from us for a moment yeah. Yeah. the character came in as a like, pop yeah it was a <laughs> <laughs> and then i didn't know what she said for the next two minutes yeah <laughs> i can oh, say it again man. if you like no no it's no, cool. okay that's fine wow. yeah it's all about presentation guys impressive mm-hmm. i impressive. you guys we have to get into your struggle right now i'm so sorry i feel like i do for this. the next yeah, yeah. episode um we, why do we do we have to uh, no we got to get because it's we have to we've right. been talking for like a half hour already oh, damn. All right. it's time and we didn't even sure. get to, to bring forth the rhythm and the uh, rhyme i want to get mine <laughs> so get yours i want to see sweat coming out your port i'm sorry i had to and that was also That's a Wahlberg Wal- brother also a Wahlberg brother <laughs> 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 who knew they had flow it's just coming wow. out like Tourette's for you <laughs> Wait, was that that was it? Marky Mark. Mark and yeah. the Funky Bunch. That was oh, that was Marky Mark. Because there's a third Wahlberg, isn't there? No, oh, no, 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 no. No, there's another new he just kids works member. At the restaurant. Who <laughs> Wahlberg? You're right. There is a third Wahlberg brother. Right? I don't he know. Does work at the restaurant. See? No, there's another new kids on the block member who was going to be in the group. There's and Danny. His parents didn't think. They were like, this isn't. Uh, oh, no, yeah. Isn't. So he never made it. He to never. The... He never joined. I think that's how oh, Joey he got in. Him. Oh, I thought that's that how Danny. Joey got in. You're right. In. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. No, Joey was the last one. He to, was my favorite. To be um, that kid's parents. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the kid, deal. Uh, he's dealing with he's working yeah. it out, however. But to yeah. be the parents. We, the kid's a drug addict. You know. Oh, for I sure. Mean, yeah. For sure. Oh, no. He's probably like an accountant somewhere. Doing drugs. Just <laughs> threatening suicide do, yeah. weekly. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Can like, you imagine? Yeah. Thinking about all that money and what think your life would be like? If his parents had to put him through college. Oh, think of what their process would be like. <laughs> right, son of a... They already have too much blame. Son <laughs> of a... <laughs> that could have been you. He could have... Uh. But that, it's the parents' fault. The parents didn't yeah. want him to do it. But maybe yeah. that is, you know. My parents might have done the same I was going to say, thing. if you have good parents, not, yeah. they were trying to protect you. That's yes. all it was. It's the thirsty yeah. parents that are like, oh. <laughs> Get him in there. Right. The same like Michael Jackson parents, right? Yes. Like, you go hang out with that celebrity. Yeah. And I'll just be over here chilling. No. Looking the other way. Well, you might be getting molested. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Those are the parents that become managers. Right. For sure. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. And agents. So um, parents are on both sides just to suck. They just, they're, they're it's, terrible people. Is don't, that the thing? Don't be one. A parent or a disaster. Yeah, yeah. don't be one. Because mm-hmm. on both sides of the coin. Because no one knows what yeah. they're doing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Love you, mom and dad. Mm-hmm. I know. My parents are amazing, but they, yeah. even them, like they, they did the best they could. And but still, it's like they weren't perfect. No, but my parents pulled some stuff out of their ass. 
with me yeah. and and it was my dad one of my favorite things about my my dad was or one of the coolest things i was a cub scout and a boy scout when i was a kid and every year they have this thing called the pinewood derby and my dad was an engineer mm-hmm. and um and so he was an aerospace engineer and then switched to defense and whatever but he was an aerospace engineer when i was a kid and so the pinewood derby came up and they give you this block of wood and some wheels and they go make this into a car and then they have a big <laughs> race at the end of the month or whenever the hell you do it yeah so we go to make our car and i'm seeing other kids cars and they got these hot rods and they're painted all they, they fancy they, yeah and my dad <laughs> took this block of wood and like you know, quote unquote, helped me, but he he carves it like a sedan, like just an old like we're all you know. He made it into going a, to Black he Angus. He made it into a, a Chevy Caprice. He, he just made it into like the car he would like to have for the fan. You know, and I'm like, yeah. what is? What? I'm watching, but I feel I, it, Volkswagon it's out of my control. On the back. Yeah, it's like okay, why don't you just make a Winnebago a station dad? wagon? Yeah. With so, a wood panel on the side. Yeah, yeah. He makes this a- car and it's just like, oh, there's nothing here. And he you know, tries to paint it red and he puts a little stripe over the top. I was like, all right, thanks a lot, Dad. And you go to the Pinewood Derby. This thing won. Put that every goddamn race. Oh, of course it did. First place. <laughs> I was like, Dad, put it down. He yeah. held it down. Kids you, were, you were watching. Making fun of them. <laughs> the kids were watching. <laughs> this car beat their little hot rod. And I remember the kids like, I don't, how is he doing this? There must be an actual motor. Is that a real car? That's got to be a real car. Yeah. Ne- so his design, because he had that aerospace. He knew what the hell he was he doing. Kind of he knew. You said he was an engineer. You yeah. should have trusted him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm in the corner hating. <laughs> I'd like to see a picture hey, of that car. I probably still, you still have the have, car. You probably still have the car. I'm I'm sure I, I still have the either. trophy, which I broke the very next day when I brought it to school. When you punched yourself with, with it. it. <laughs> 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 Dancing. <laughs> Standing over the other kids. <laughs> he broke skin. <laughs> the very idea <laughs> that after the Pinewood Derby, me and my dad be like, you know what? Let's go dancing. <laughs> just hit the club. <laughs> dad trying to bring me to. Oh, this is my son. He just won the Pinewood Derby. He's, he's, the pine he's only wood eight, but oh, derby. come right in, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the name in itself is hilarious. Oh my that you God. should put that on your credits. <laughs> like when you have your yeah. re- listed as before your Emmys and everything else, just a winner of the Pinewood, of the Derby, Pinewood Derby, whatever oh, year that was, circa 1987. Oh. I don't even think stick a year. Yeah, <laughs> no, not, not even needed. No, it's necessary. Yeah. I just thought it made it funnier. <laughs> it was, was thirty like, was it years it ago. Was <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> mm, what are you saying? <laughs> Oh, boy. We're getting old. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um, Look, okay. I was in the Cub Scouts yesterday. Did you, did we see the thing before we get into your struggle? Did you see the thing about the, was it the Cub Scouts about how all the abuse that just happened? Like there was like a report that came out about the fat, like oh, it was like boy. 13, 12,000 boys that were. Well, that makes Wait, sense. Wait, was this Of course it makes sense. No, I, the report, like, oh, I'm, I don't know when it happened. I didn't actually read. No, but I, I don't read articles. There was so I just look at the titles. I feel like a story came out where there was something similar. Yeah. The, well, the, you know. For sure. I'm sure it happens like stories like this get broken yeah. well, repeatedly because it doesn't ever stop. It's a mm-hmm. vicious cycle. But um, yeah. pretty much happens wherever there's a group of boys. Yes. Mm-hmm. Just it. <laughs> just no, you need to have to get touched. You need to have a female supervisor. Well, yeah, well, Whenever uh, there's a gathering of young boys and there's a yeah. man yeah. in charge, yeah, like at the gynecologist. You yeah, just yeah, have in someone the in the watching. someone at the campsite, mm-hmm. right, with like a taser or something. Whenever you start <laughs> to reach for go. a little boy, to <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I think man. that's the solution overall. I think we. I think that should be a law. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. No boy should be unsupervised with grown ass men. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> with, yeah. W- yeah. One creepy grown ass. When, when they insist that no women are present. That's right. That's it. what that's it is. When, is when they ban the women. Shit. That's when it's like, yeah. why are you banning yeah. the women? Yeah. Yeah. So in because clar- y'all talk too much. So it's in clergy and sports, and after after school and school. You, yeah. yeah. Any any organization where there's gatherings of young boys, pretty much, yeah. I mean, <laughs> and girls too, because the, we get yeah. molested too. Like the, all the gymnasts that you heard about with that, the doctor, the 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 doctor they were sending all the Olympic gymnasts to was molesting girls. Mm. So it's ultimately men with kids. It's just men. I think. I think it's just. Yeah. It's just, and you just need to always have a, a some a way type to of get into some trouble. Yeah, and it. I wonder what the statistics are on women that molest. 
little boys. I mean, it's I'm sure it's not uh, it's not I as mean, low they, as we think it is. They fall in love with yeah. them and then want to marry them. That's well, what... you know, R. Kelly was allegedly molested by a female, uh, like an aunt or something like that. Whitney Houston's it was Dionne Warwick's sister that molested Whitney and her brothers. Mm. So I think it's a thing that happens, and we just don't expect women to, do, and yeah. we definitely don't do it as much yeah. as men. But it's I think it's a statistic that we do need to look into for sure. Well, we only hear about it when it's a crazy, sensationalized story, like right. Kayla Turno or. Was that was she? But they was that was you know no, that's a was, sticky one because she they loved each other they got married. <laughs> yeah, that was the I'm one not, who married. The yeah, kid, the, I'm not condoning the, dating children, but, yeah, but the, that yeah. was a that was an instance was like what if they were really in love and then I they always did. feel that way with Woody Allen too. I'm like they're still together. Not only that, but and here's the confusion with Woody Allen is that that was not his stepdaughter. People keep saying that was his stepdaughter. That was yeah. not his stepdaughter, and mm. she was also an adult when they dated. She was 19, so she's mm. still like on that cusp, but still yeah, yeah, yeah. young enough that it, like he could still could have waited at least a it's, few more years. It's creepy, but it's I don't know what else. To do. I, and right, you know, I don't. Uh, I, I don't know the details of the. I'm here's the thing. I'm inundated now. We all are with so much of this. Yeah, that I kind of have to let some of it wash over me for sure because there's just too much of. It. So I, you know, I don't mean to sound insensitive and like, look, I don't give a fuck about Woody because that yeah. ain't it at all. Of course, but I don't know. There's so much to this Great Woody Allen thing area. that I'm like, I don't even know all the pieces anymore. And if you it's know. like the Michael Jackson thing, that's like I can't, yeah. I can't defend either. I'm just mm-hmm. saying I don't have enough of anything yeah. to make a argument for either one. I'm just saying, but what if? And I'm just presenting like, what if this and what if this? Mm-hmm. But the Woody Allen thing, yeah, for sure. I, and I think people conflated because you know there was two different stories. There was a story about him molesting the little girl that was, um, yeah. Was that, that wasn't his daughter, was it? Or was it his daughter? I don't know. I don't There's a know. young girl that he was accused oh, of. Oh, no, it was. I thought it was his daughter. Hmm. No, Woody Pharaoh. Allen? Her last name is Pharaoh. So I don't know. Yeah, Woody Allen. Oh, yeah. that's right. People complain. He yeah. definitely has been accused of, of, of molesting ch- a child. But just that, mm. yeah. yeah, and I don't know if that's his daughter or if it's just. I thought it I, bet it, I, think I can't, rem- I can't remember now. Yeah. If she has a Pharaoh last name. Oh, she took it. Remember she switched it? He, to his her mom's yeah. last name, so yeah, if, if that might be his daughter, I don't know. See, mm. and this is I don't know enough about it, but yeah, yeah. Th- they I think people conflate the, the the his his wife that case about him dating a child and conflated with that accusation of him molesting yeah. Yeah. the little girl. But even the accusation of him molesting the little girl, there's a lot of the tape apparently with her, the confession on, or the her saying that he did this to her was like edited. So it's like people believe that she may have been being coached by her mom, who was bitter. Because he left her to be with Sunyi. Sunyi. Mm-hmm. So you could have the mom's emotions influencing this little girl and telling her what to say. So there's just so many variables that we don't yeah. know. All I know is what, what I've heard lately <clears throat> from Ronan. Yeah. And that's what I've sort of been listening to. Like, oh, something's, you know. But I, again, I don't know. And unless I'm going to sit down and pour over right. all the things, I'm all, I've got to, I can't really I can't offer argue. A, like, a definitive, <laughs> right. you know. Or but, have a feeling about it. Right. Really. You don't know yeah. enough. Yeah, right. Exactly. Look at us struggling here. To I know to rectify this. <laughs> Look at that. We we have 15 minutes left. Oh damn! And we have not. <clears throat> what are you struggling with, Kevin? We have. Um, I'm sorry. We have to wrap this up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be here, everybody. Thank you. What is your what? Is your um, uh, I uh, you know, I, I identity is something that I find interesting because it's something I keep going back to as a. You know, I I feel like you mentioned something in your speaking of new negroes in mm-hmm. your set about it's a struggle for me. That's passing, why when you, yeah when you said you were going to talk about, it, I was like I would love because we haven't really yeah. talked about this um, before. But uh, you know, I grew up sort of going to an all white private school, uh, all blackish. White pri- yeah, yeah, basically, and. Um, and so me and my brother were like the only two black kids in the school for the most part. Like every once in a while, like a new black kid would show up and kind of peek their head in and be like, ah, hell with that shit. He would just out. pop in. Yeah, one semester and then you never see him. Like I remember this one kid, Reggie, he came in for like one semester and then people were like, what happened to Reggie? You know, and what, he, what did happen to I almost said his last name. And he was like, uh uh-uh. uh. Like listening. he was, he was, I, he was angry or he seemed angry. And I remember thinking that. And then I realized later, oh, no, he was just like, what the fuck is going on with all these white? Like, I think it was just oh. weird for him to be in a school with all, all white kids. Oh, of I'm course. Sure he didn't, you know. Uh, so wait, he, but he disappeared? He didn't disappear. <laughs> I'm like, what happened to Reggie? <laughs> no. Now we're going to have a podcast. We're trying to find Reggie. 
Uh, I think he's okay. But he just didn't come back. I don't know. Maybe something did happen. Maybe there was. That's what I'm saying. This sounds like a Jordan Peele movie. I imagine that's probably really difficult because I just went to an event that was all black and I was Mm -hmm. the only. Yeah, we talked about. Yeah, yeah. I did not like it. I left. I was only there for about 15 minutes because it's uncomfortable. Yeah, Yeah. but that's how people don't understand. That's how we feel on a daily basis wherever we go, unless it is like a black function. Mm-hmm. Like unless we go, unless we're at step shows, that's how yeah, we feel. That's, gotta, <laughs> so that's why I bring a fraternity or sorority with me everywhere, everywhere I go. we go. You have to, um, get but the, the <laughs> trick you don't the hear them outside. Here they come! Here they come! Yeah. So, what if that was what was in the Jumanji game when the drums were Reggie? going? Oh, no, not Reggie. <laughs> Oh, it was Reggie and a whole fraternity <laughs> and a whole step show. Oh my God, Black Jumanji, which Blue Manji. Ooh. ooh. Oh. oh no, we need to go. We need to. We shoot need this. to go right. We this need to call way. Jordan no, Peele. Don't, don't have him no. direct it. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Like Jordan Peele listens to this podcast. <laughs> You, know, you never know. Jordan, if you're listening, do yeah. not take our idea Please. for this. Or actually, you can take it as long as you let us write it and then you direct it so we can yeah. get the shit greenlit. Call us for a meeting. Call it. Call in. Um, but yeah, I, but the, the tricky thing is is when you start to normalize the experience. Yeah. Because to me, it wasn't that strange. What was weirder was when my, my parents recognizing, well, we have to make sure this kid is not just completely just all white all oh, the time. Whitewashed. Yeah. Yeah. And so... They put my brother and I in Jack and Jill, which is yep, the, I know about. Yeah. I know. I Black, know Jack, Jack, and Jill. Jack and Jill is um, it's a, this is easier. What's the to white explain. version of it? Well, it's like a youth group. Yeah, uh, so but Boy Scouts. Mm, it's, it's non-gender. It's co-ed. Yeah, it doesn't have okay. to be gender specific. It's basically uh, you know uh, groups of black kids uh, in different age groups. Get together like once or twice a month and do do activities. Get together, do it's just a youth group so that you know you could be around other black kids growing up and such. But and it whatnot. usually was always like up more uppity. It was definitely <laughs> you're being it was polite. Definitely, there people was no... definitely had the mm, oh, yeah. these bougie mom like that was the. You ask a lot of people about Jack and Jill, it'll split the room. Yeah, it'll be like oh, t- yeah. Some be like oh hey, so be like, like mm, mm, we weren't allowed in. Mm. <laughs> You have to be invited. <laughs> so, uh, but yes, but like being in Jack and Jill, that's when I felt awkward. Being a, not when I was a kid, but when I was, you know, becoming like a, you know, 12, yeah. 13. Why? Because you had to act different to fit in? It because is I a just, code switching that happens. Yeah. Culturally, there were things, you know, and I've talked about this on stage, how like I didn't, there were things we weren't aware of, whether it was music or whatever. And so <clears throat> I kind of had to adjust. I remember once, <clears throat> excuse me, I remember once not like clothes were obviously a big deal. As they are for any teenager. Yeah, I remember sure. once wearing, and my mom used to try to take us and get us, um, you know, like gear for the summer. Because every year they what had. What about a te- your neighborhood? Was your neighborhood it's all white? white? No, nah, okay. it's all white. Uh, so, so like every year they would have teen conference. That's what Jack and Jill did. It was sort of like this convention for the kids, and you had to your shit had to be on point. You had to have the right, gear, you know, the mm-hmm. whole deal. And so my mom would take us out shopping, and I just kind of didn't want to be bothered. And so I would just get whatever she would pick. Yeah. Like to her credit, she was like, pick the thing that you, cause uh, if I pick it, you're going to get slacks. Yeah. And so, so, <laughs> you know, sure enough, I just never had the right stuff. And I remember sitting, we were had like a little pool party and I'm just sitting around the party had kind of di- died down. It was just me and like five of the dudes and we're sitting around and no one's saying anything. And then there's one guy sitting in the pool, just kind of looking at my shoes. He doesn't say anything. And then finally just out of the Skip silence, that. he just goes, Turn text, huh? And the whole place burst out. I mean, the the place exploded with laughter, and I was just like, "Oh God, I've I've done something horribly wrong." <laughs> like, I was never off my. G- I remember we all had a had a what battle. Was, what was turn text? They were just shitty shoes. Yeah, I was like, I don't even know what oh, those are. So because uh, they were shitty, and probably they pick them up in Marshalls. I think every once in a while I day, see a pair of turn. Oh, they're, so they're still around. Oh, yeah, I think so. Turn, I see a I pair of turn text every How now and then. How do you spell then. that? T U R N T E C, and every time I see oh. that, it fla- I, it, I flash. Well, I've never heard in my head. Oh yeah. So uh, they're making fun of you because you were the poor kid. 
No, I wasn't the poor kid. Or, no, it was. Or the shoes were just. The, I didn't. I was. I didn't have the right gear. I didn't have you, the right the gear. Yeah. I didn't. Ha- I wasn't wearing fila or a. De- it, it took a minute for me to go. Oh, okay, these are funny. like the poor man's yeah. fila. <laughs> oh, can I say? Yes. They are. They yeah. look just like. Remember fila oh, shoes? I had like yeah, a pair yeah. of plain white ones. And you guys look up like, Turntec. T U R N T E C. You yeah. will be in for they a treat. Were, I just you know I was like a a black nerd, but not in the way that we've. We are just now embracing the the black nerd, yeah. like now. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, but we, back then we b- you were a pioneer. But now the black nerd means a a black person who also happens to be a nerd. Back yes. then it was yeah. a nerd in the black community for sure. Like I was just because I wasn't a for nerd sure. at school. I wasn't a nerd with all the white guys. For, no, for know. sure. But with these guys, yeah, you know, um, turn tech. I remember showing <laughs> That's up. That's almost your nickname now. <laughs> what up, turn tech? Turn tech. <laughs> it's not a bad nickname. It's not. It's go. actually better than yeah. nickname than turn, a shoe. Turn tech. You just be turn. Yeah, but <laughs> turn tech. Get turn. Turn. <laughs> but I, I remember having showing up at like we were all battling. We were all doing like a breakdance battle, and it was us and the kids from Oakland, and everyone showed up, and they had a, you know all the feel on or all the you know, yeah, and yeah. I show up, and I had just like a a button down shirt and some blue. Like slacks, some dockers. Yeah. I look like I was there just to sing the national anthem before the actual battle started. <laughs> and then just peace out. And the, yeah, it was. Uh, it was Aww. Right. So you had that. Uh, oh, really, I have to ask mm-hmm. was that the last time you wore the turn text? Was after everybody laughed at you? I or did think you... I probably wore them in pride. Like if I probably wore them around white my, kids. They were my house shoes from yeah. then on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, the heel turned down suddenly. Just, oh, we just, Kevin, you're not wearing your turn text on? Nah. Nah, it's, uh, yeah. I had, to, I had to come correct. You that. did have to come correct. Yeah, yeah. And I figured it out. So, like, uh, when you were younger, mm-hmm. uh, did you, on, like, television, were you watching, did your family have you watching, like, black stuff? On TV, they, like sitcoms and no, I was doing that on my. But it was all it was all about music. Okay, so everything like hip hop was was doing its thing back then. And were you into taking, it back then? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what that's what saved me essentially. <laughs> is I was oh, like, this is how to be black? Correctly. I got to teach myself how to do all the things. Yeah. And I I remember like all the things. I you know <laughs> I was like I gotta okay we gotta get this dancing thing down. Cause I could, I was always someone who could move. I could always dance, but I hadn't focused Prove that it. into the. <laughs> and here I go. <laughs> and five, six, seven, eight. He starts busting out some Bob Fosse. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> right now, I'm doing a plie, and it's looking great. No. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't know how to like break or pop or anything like yeah. that. I had to teach myself how to do. I learned how to pop watching the Imperial Snowwalkers in Empire Strikes Back. Like what? going back and watching an old Empire Strikes Back. Is tape that what they do? And mimicking the, well, they the way they move. Yeah, it's I guess it is motion. very robotic. Yeah. yeah, and I just learned how to do that. Yeah, shit. and then and I was like, now what if I could stand up and do this? And that was and next thing you know, I was doing it. That's pretty brilliant. Yeah, yeah. He's Ta- like, yeah, I know. Taught myself how to freestyle. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed that you knew what a plie was. That too. I was a dancer. Yeah. Okay. Were you? For like, yeah, I mean, as a kid, I was really into. I didn't know this. Jazz, like modern, tap, ballet, and just, you know who Bob Fosse is. Yeah. There are so many layers, <laughs> just like an onion. I used to dance backup for this like rap group, and in, in uh, they were from Rochester, but they were like in Atlanta. Yeah, I know. Right now, they're yeah. terrible. Rochester? Oh, they were they were cool. From Rochester? From Rochester. Good rap. They were they from were Rochester? solid. Yeah, they were solid. Yeah, they really. <laughs> but I guess it's like maybe, and you know, uh, my only I'm a little biased against Rochester, against Rochester because I uh, went there in the winter time. Mm-hmm. And it was like negative twenty degrees. Oh well, yeah. And uh, and I don't remember seeing a lot of black people there. And I don't know if that was just where I was. Um, was there a decent amount? I mean, I don't know. I never. I've never been to Rochester. They were oh, from. They were there. just from they there. Were, you never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you just ended up dancing back. Were, were, for yeah, them. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would like footage of this, please. <laughs> um. So this sucks because I'm so upset. We're running at what? How much time do we have, Paul? <sighs> Identity is too much to discuss in 15 minutes, but oh. you and I share similar struggles. We do. And I, I would like to stress that, like, again, that why everyone needs to watch New Negroes is because we are it's a showcase of like different ki- kinds of types of blackness. 
instead yeah. of the stereotypical what everybody just gets presented in normal media. Yeah. People will still say that's powerful. you sound it is. Oh, you're like the the whitest black. I think as an adult, that's what ha- it went from black people being like, what's up with this guy in his funny shoes? To eventually, they, re, you know, we figure it. We're like, look, yeah. it's all, they're all kinds of shades of black. But yeah. now, as an adult, I more I hear white people like, man, you're like you're the whitest black guy, and I'm like, what? Hmm? Like, you know, that and then that, not a compliment. That was a thing that I heard a lot more. Yeah, like you know, yeah. of a while ago. Now, not so much anymore, but occasionally. Well, the thing I I, I was trying to explain to Brenda because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing working on a project right now where it's it's titled "Not Really Black." Mm-hmm. Because every black person has heard some white person say to them, yeah. well, you're not really black. Yeah. Right. And so I want to start working on a project where I, ha- I have my black friends come on and talk about their experiences of mm. what it is, the, the thing that white people have pegged them as not being really black for. Yeah. Whether it be the way you speak, whether it be the music you listen to, whether you're really into something that's uh, stereotypically uh, known as being white. So whatever mm-hmm. that is, I want to have my black friends on to discuss yeah. stuff like that. But yeah. um. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, I, again, I apologize because we have run out of time. <laughs> we have run out of time just when we're getting to the meat of what we came to do. But we, will you come back? Yeah, I would love to. And we'll talk more because yeah. I would love to. And I'm sure more people are like, I want to hear more about this. You can travel. get into this. I yeah, got no. some stories, y'all. I got some stories. <laughs> You guys, I don't know if you can see in his eyes, but <laughs> you, and, I, and I don't know why you sound like Lupita in Us. <laughs> there was a time. <laughs> I was like, "Will somebody get this bitch some water?" Is she okay, does she need a lozenge? <laughs> Brenda, did you see Us? No, you saw it. I did. Uh, there's so much I want to say about it, but we'll do that off <laughs> off the mic because you know we want Jordan to Does direct come, our film. Call us. <laughs> Wow, you've, uh, you've kind of blown it with that. Uh, tune in next time. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't they oh. have water down there? I don't know. She How sounded like surviving? she sat on something. <laughs> her, she just sounded. Her, I've never heard an ashy voice before, but that's what her voice <laughs> sounded like. <laughs> Let me get you a lubriderm soda. <laughs> <laughs> some of that. You need some Jergens tea. <laughs> <laughs> just get you. You just squirt it in your mouth, just a little bit. So, Jergens tea, just, you know, or Nivea. <laughs> Black people like Nivea too, Nivea. Oh, even yeah. though they were at so they had some uh, messy, oh, they, messy, oh, messy background. Right. Having some, uh, oh, you, know, you know, Nivea lotion. Mm-hmm. They had some ads that were like, what? What did they say? I forget, but they were definitely racist. Uh, civil, be, get, be, be civilized. civilized, and it's a black man who's holding clean cut, but yep. he's holding a, a, a afro, his own head, his own head. It's an afro, and he's in a suit, and you know, yeah, Nivea had a few um <laughs> Nivea had another one that was like it was a basically oh sometimes light is be- no that's yeah, that's was- heineken that's heineken I oh think. no sometimes lighter is better that's the heineken uh-huh. ad but i was gonna was do a, a lotion thing. one that, that, that meant light someone. beer Yes, yeah, but in the but Heineken ad, the Heineken yeah, but, no, but in the Heineken ad, the bartender slides a beer pat. It, it's a, like, like a bunch of Jamaica. dark people. It's a oh, bunch of it's no, past a bunch of black people, it. yeah. And then there's one light lighter. I think she's actually Asian at the end of the table, and she picks it up, and then it goes. Wow. Uh, yeah, sometimes lighter is better, and it's like what the <laughs> what? <they> sail past <laughs> the, the fact everybody that still happens is like this insanity. Every black, you know, just any yeah. It was like the cast of Black Panther just. Went past them. Went past Lupita. Yeah. She was like, but I ordered. Just every black person. <laughs> you know, just all the black people I'm you can think so of and know. Thirsty. It's slippery. <laughs> what about mine? <laughs> you need to go see us just for that. Mm-hmm. Just so you guys know what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. If you don't know the Lupita that we're making fun of. Yeah. Um, and I today's so podcast questions. is sponsored by Nivea. <laughs> And all the lotions. <laughs> all the lotions. And fam you. Uh, <laughs> for all the step show talk okay. we did. Uh, shout out to Skiggy. I can't let you. The boy, they <laughs> find me and beat my ass if they let you say fam you and then my I don't bad. jump in with Tuskegee. My bad. Mm, okay. My bad. Who boy. 
You guys, this has been such a fun episode, and I'm so sad. we ha- It just went by so quickly, but I promise we will have you back on because okay. I would like to finish this. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, if you have not subscribed, make sure to do that. We're on all pl- podcast platforms and YouTube. If you haven't seen us on the videos on YouTube, do subscribe there. Rate and review us on iTunes. That really does make a big difference. And also tell somebody about the struggle. If you are laughing to this and enjoying it regularly and you haven't told somebody about it, you're doing everybody a disservice, all right? Uh, Candace Thompson comedy.com for my shows jokes by Candace on social media Brenda one more time at Brenda Colonna on Instagram and I am of like mind on Instagram Kevin one more time at Kevin Avery on Twitter and at Kevin Avery comedy on Instagram and make sure and to new watch Negroes. new Negroes Fridays, every Friday 11 p.m. Comedy Central and my episode May 17th Friday May 17th and May 24th don't miss it thanks guys bye